Well, as more and more eyes turn to the internet, the next big thing is tipped to be customization and how web users can get what they want from a mass market website. The global heads of Fatwire are in Australia this week, meeting with some of the country's largest corporations to discuss ways to save money and increase productivity. The Business Channel's Aaron Young asked Fatwire's Asia-Pacific head, Nigel Trinker, just how difficult it is for companies to make money out of the internet. I think uh, the internet is a channel now that uh, most boards of companies are looking to their CEOs and their management team to derive up to 25 percent of their of their revenue. You know, it's in the good times it was probably quite easy to overlook the internet, uh, but now uh, with the you know increased pressures, companies are seeing it t you know, twofold: one, to as a cheaper and cost-effective way to to go to market with their propositions, and secondly, to uh, reduce expenditure in the way that they handle those uh, requests. So, for example, banks are now keen to get more customers and their internet sites probably aren't dr driving that process as well as they would like to and that results in call centre costs, additional co costs to people in the call centre because the website's not doing its job. And so what does your company do to help other companies succeed on the internet? So our company, Fatwire, is positioned at the marketing side of websites. So there are an area of business called content management, which is about how do you manage information for websites, both internally and externally. Not many companies are focused on actually how we take that information and put that into a proposition that meets customer expectations. You'd be familiar that most websites are the same for everybody that visits uh, from whatever genre or, or persona they might come from, they get the same information. So it's tempting to say that nothing has ever been sold online if you know that selling is meeting a proposition, uh, understanding a requirement and then meeting that with a crafted proposal. So unless you can do what we do at Fatwire, which is to understand the behaviour of somebody whilst they're on the website and recraft that proposition by showing them different content, different offers, that we think will more likely meet what it is they're after. I guess what you're talking about is customization, but that's been around for a long time. I think of Yahoo, they've been able to allow users to choose the news stories they want to see, the types of news feeds they want to see. So what does your company do that's different? Sure. So, so we do that, the, the Yahoo style or the iGoogle style, which is what you call explicit personalization. That is, I'm happy to tell you who I am and register on your website and then tell you what I want. That's quite an invasive thing and not many people will do that or be willing to give up that information or for any type of website that they go to, whether it's a new hi-fi product or a bank or something. They're, they're resist resistant. So the other type of personalization is implicit personalization. You don't need to register, but based on attributes that we can glean from your behavior on the website, your IP address that you've logged on from, uh, and it may even be the search engine request that brought you to the website. We already can start putting you into a segment. And we can say that we know that people who come from Melbourne, who clicked on that search in Google, would be more likely to be interested in this content than the standard content. Nigel, your company is based in the United States. You're in charge of the Asia-Pacific region. So from your perspective, from the company's perspective, how does Australia compare to other countries around the world? Uh, we are very similar to the US, if not a little bit further behind, but in some cases organisations test market things here in Australia, and particularly New Zealand, where we have you know, relatively well-educated populations um, and uh, we are you know, not nicely insulated from the rest of the world. So some of the things that we have done on our websites are in fact more advanced than what we're seeing in, uh, in the US and the UK. And that is Business Report for this Friday and for the week. I'm Nina May from all the team here at Channel 602. Thanks for your company. Enjoy your weekend.